universe. Now remember, sound waves are vibrations that pass through, I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, sound waves are vibrations that pass through the atmosphere. And we can see these vibrations if you look close on these two uh, plastic sheets, there's salt on there. And if I do sound waves, if I resonate sound waves, you can see the molecules, the salt particles, jumping up and down as these sound waves vibrate off the plastic wrap. These sound waves, if these were the salt particles, they bump into each other. And we also know that the sound particles themselves, the molecules are not traveling through the media or the medium. The energy itself is what's trans transferring from one molecule to another. If you look in here, you'll see the molecules in between vibrate in a similar sense as the sound waves do. Now, if sound waves go out in this long, long banner, all right, if sound waves travel this long, long manner, is this called transverse waves or longitudinal waves? Remember, we saw this in our longitudinal waves. We have compressions and rarefactions in the longitudinal wave. Oh, when a sound so source, longitudinal wave, when a sound source moves out. Now, notice the spacing. Anyone ever seen dominoes in big, uh, in big, big dominoes? Mm. What do they do yeah, with robot. big dominoes? You have them side by side, right? What happens when you put them far apart like this? They work, right? Now, what happens if you put a lot of space in between the dominoes? Why? All right, here's, here's sound. So a sound is made. And sound goes out in all directions. All right, why is it that these dominoes didn't fall down? S space. So the motion in the middle, the sound source, the vibration in the middle, expands out in all directions. Now, in outer space, sound cannot travel. Why? Look at the dominoes. Why is it? They don't hit. One doesn't hit into another. All right, let's take another look at this. Here's another example of longitudinal. Uh, now, sound travels. I'll get to this in a second. All right. Well, everybody's up here. Let's take a look at this. I don't believe you, Mr. Uh, sound travels faster in uh, something like steel, right? <laughs> solid liquid <laughs> solid liquid gas solid is most dense than liquid and gas sound travels faster so say this is a sound source I'm gonna put energy into it oh, I've seen this on Zoom. you see that the more dense it is watch watch this they're all right next to each other it's like uh, Newton's cradle back there with those, those things you see this I put one in and let's see if it goes all the way down to the back and even goes off. You see that? Now, as I spread these out, this is liquid. The molecules are a little bit farther apart, right? In liquid, the molecules are a little bit farther apart. Oops. It still goes through, right? Is it as no. fast as before? No. Is it as, no, it's not. The mo less dense. They're not as close together. Now, gas, we have space in between all all the molecules have a lot of space between them, right? Even more than that, but this is just an example. So when I put this in here, it still goes through, right? Oops. I can do it hard. Now, imagine we're in uh, imagine we're in outer space where there's there's uh there might be some ice, right? Gases might be in the form of ice, there might be uh iron, there might be particles, dust particles, all right? in outer space. There might be all these things, right? But are they close together? In, in outer space, 
all these particles that are out there are very far apart. You don't have like a fluid like, like we have with the atmosphere. So I'm going to try here real hard. Oops. <laughs> Do you see that? Oh. Come on, you can make it. <laughs> <laughs> with more in space. In space, sound can't travel because the molecules can't vibrate one sound off the other. It's transmitted through the air. Uh, vibrations. Today, what you're going to do with your activity is you're going to correlate, using a straw, you're going to correlate pitch and wavelength. All right, now, see this straw? It has a length. And this. The length of the straw can be correlated to the length of the sound wave. You know that? Does the speed of sound change in air, Alex? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that high pitch or low pitch? Low pitch. Low pitch. Low pitch. This is a, a long. This is the long straw. The longest it came. Right. I cut off the bottom. Low pitch. If I cut the straw, I will in turn cut a wavelength, right? Okay. So the less straw, the... Long straw or short straw? Alex, long or short? Short. Low frequency or high frequency? High. Low pitch or high pitch? High. Low or high? High. A long straw? A short straw? All right. What is the difference between a long straw and a short straw? I got two bottles. Resonate. Right, Guillermo? Yeah. There, right? Yeah. Which one has low? That one. This one's low, right? Low pitch, low frequency. Which one do you think is the larger of the two bottles? That one. Green. This one, right? This one's larger? A little bit, right? What if I have the same size bottles? It'll always be the same? What if I put water? What happens? So it was not the water. Great up the sound of water. All right. So is it going to be higher or lower? That one's going to be higher. higher. Why? Because it's less weighty. What? Well, less weighty. <laughs> well, what if I keep adding water? So now that was a quarter. This is half. <laughs> right? <laughs> On the zone, huh? And this is uh, three quarters full. All right, so same same speed, right? 340. 340. If I change the wavelength, what changes? Pitch. Sound. Pitch. Here is a empty bottle, so it has a long wavelength. Slightly shorter. Slightly shorter. Slightly shorter. Long? Short. What is this difference in sound known as?